Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long if you are new around here. Hi, welcome. My name is Robin. I make fashion and lifestyle videos as well as vlogs with a little bit of motherhood sprinkled in there. So if that kind of thing sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button after you finish today's video. So today I am sharing with you our empty house tour for our military housing on Barksdale Air Force Base. We just moved here at the beginning of March. I was heavily pregnant at the time you'll see that in this video i'll do a little bump in the mirror type thing so i haven't had a chance to get this up till now i have had my baby so here we are catching back up so a little bit about this house we are in the liberty heights neighborhood on the east side of base so if you are moving here you will learn about main base east side things like that it's kind of a little confusing in the beginning but we chose to live on the east side far away from main base just because of it being slightly newer houses and a few other reasons but yeah so this is our house it is a three bedroom two and a half bath in the liberty heights neighborhood once again so if you are looking at floor plans just go to the hunt military housing site and it will be the Barksdale Air Force Base housing, like just Google it, whatever. And it'll be Hunt Military Housing. And you can search through their website based off of your rank and family size and things like that to pick the floor plans on there. So once you search the Liberty Heights one, this is the three bedroom, two and a half bath option. Little tidbit, our laundry room here that you are seeing does have hookups for an electric and a gas dryer so just keep that in mind if you are bringing your washer and dryer with you that it does have options for both so this is the garage it's absolutely tiny my minivan barely fits in here and let me know if you guys want to see an updated house tour now that we have all moved in and you kind of want to see the layout because it is really hard to figure out the layout in military housing a lot of times I struggle so if you want to see what it looks like fully furnished now let me know in the comment section down below so here we are going up the stairs to all of the bedrooms on the second level right here is the master bedroom that I'm about to be going in I love this wood floor just tidbit it's so pretty Every room does have a ceiling fan if that is important to you. You definitely need it here in Louisiana. It is hot as heck and the air conditioner does not cool off the upstairs nearly enough. It is blazing up here right now. It's the summertime and it's like a solid 80 something degrees upstairs because it just can't keep up. Love the walk-in closet. That is much nicer than our previous base um, in Mountain Home, Idaho. So if you guys want to see Mountain Home, Idaho, our old house, that's also on my channel as well. Super tight bathroom here. It is impossible to open and close this door trying to get in and out of the shower. But, you know, it is what it is. Going into the second bedroom here. All the bedrooms are pretty decent size. We definitely had a, a lot smaller bedroom option at our old base, so we are thankful for that. We definitely need it being a family of five now. It's getting very cramped in here since having the baby and having two kids share rooms, so we are possibly considering moving to a four-bedroom. It just costs a lot of money to move from one house on base to another because of the housing fees and stuff. Um, so we haven't really made that decision yet, but it is getting really cramped. So keep that in mind if you guys do have three kids and not just two. I love the storage area, by the way. It's great, but I kind of wish it was just more bedroom space or something like that. But yeah, keep that in mind if you have more than two kids and are thinking about accepting a three bedroom or a four bedroom, even if you have more than uh, three kids, because it does happen a lot since we just 
you know, you get what you get. <laughs> there were no fed- four bedrooms available anytime soon whenever we were moving. So this is what we took. This is by far the biggest bedroom. So this is the one that my kids are sharing, but keeping it really short and sweet for you guys. That's everything for our house tour. Let me know down below if you have any questions and thanks for watching.